Hello, and welcome back. Now, I haven't done a review in a long time, but today we're going to be reviewing this, Venom Cube. This is an incredible Rubik's Cube magic trick. If you haven't heard of it, um, you probably wouldn't be here if you hadn't heard of it. You probably have already heard of it. But uh, you, you are here because you want to know how good of a gimmick this is. You want to know, you know, how easy is it to reset? How easy is it to do the trick? Um, you know, what comes with it? You want to know all these different details. So I'm going to give you all of that here in a second. Before I do, though, I want to let you know about who's sponsoring this. That's right. I have a sponsor. It's called myself. Ha <laughs> ha. Hilarious. Right. The Elite Magic Academy is an incredible website that I've created that has hundreds upon hundreds of the best magic techniques categorized there. You can learn them at your own pace, in depth, and in detail. We cover coin magic, rope magic, mentalism, cold reading, hypnosis, okay? Um, so much here, actually more than that even. Ring magic, other stuff like that. And it's only growing, by the way. It's gonna continue to grow as time goes on. And on top of all of that, you will actually be able to learn how you can become a professional magician. And even if you just want to be an amateur that makes some money on the side or at least make enough money to pay for more gimmicks and stuff like this to play around with, we teach you how you can get restaurant gigs and smaller things like that as well that you can build on later if you decide that you actually want to go farther. So we're going to teach you really every detail and step there is to being a top-grade professional magician. And all of this is for only $29 a month. Just think about this. Normally, if you go to a magic shop and you're going to get something like this, you're going to spend somewhere from about $20 to $100 on magic stuff, and you're only going to get a few tricks. Here, you're getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of the best material. Some of it's original by me. Uh, some of it's modifications and simplifications of stuff that already exists. But overall, it's one of the biggest libraries in the world. So all that being said, we also have a free course that you can join if you're newer to magic and you just want to learn some uh, card magic and you want to help support the uh, channel. You can do that as well. Now that all that's out of the way, let's jump into the review and really learn about how powerful of a tool this cube is. All right, so let's talk about what makes this gimmick good and what makes it bad, okay? Now, there's not a whole lot bad with this gimmick. I'm going to tell you that straight out the door, all right? So here's what we need to think about. When you think about quality of gimmick, we need to think about how long it takes to reset the gimmick, okay? This is, when you're doing a live performance, this is the case. I do perform this live, so I know. We need, to see, we need to talk about how it looks. Does it really look like it says in the trailer, right? Because um, that's super important. A lot of trailers do not really you know, do justice. They'll make it look like one thing and then it isn't what you think, okay? We all know that. So let's talk about each of these, and then we'll talk about the packaging and the stuff that comes with it and then give it over an overall rating, okay? So we're gonna jump in. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is how does it look? Because everybody wants to know that right out the gate. How does it look? Does it look like what the trailer says? The answer is yes, it does. And that's why this is one of my favorite tricks because it is so visual. Like, and people, you get, I have never got caught doing this ever and it gives the most incredible reactions the most incredible reactions. Nobody knows how it's done and they just love it. It's something that people are going to talk about. So keep that in mind. It's that good. That's how it looks. Okay. So how difficult is it to perform? The answer is it's not really difficult to perform, but it will require some memorization. Okay. And although they say in the instructions that you don't need to know how to solve a cube, which is technically true, you're gonna have nightmares if you don't know how to solve a cube because something will happen. You'll make a mistake, somebody will mix something up that they're not supposed to during your live performance, okay? Um, it will happen. And when that happens, if you don't know how to solve a cube, you're gonna regret it, okay? So I'd recommend learning to solve a cube if you're gonna do this, all right? All the time. If you only do it here and there, you could have somebody else solve the cube for you. You know, it isn't a big deal and you could just do the trick itself if you ever needed that to happen, right? But if you perform all the time, you should probably know how to solve a cube if you're doing Ribbis Cube Magic anyway. I'm just saying, like, that's my personal opinion, um, but that's my thoughts. So that is something to understand. It's good to know how to solve a cube. It isn't absolutely required, true. Um, but the difficulty of actually learning this trick in particular is not very difficult. Learning a cube might be a little more difficult, okay? 
Um, so let's talk about the quality of the gimmick itself. How good is the quality? The quality is top notch. From my experience, I don't know how they could make it better. You know, I could imagine this thing breaking if I were to drop it from high enough. I've dropped it, it did not break. Uh, one thing I would say, if you did drop it during performance in front of people and you dropped the wrong one, it might give away some of the secret. I won't explain how, because I'm not here to reveal that, but um, it might give away the secret, okay? So, but the quality overall is, in, is fantastic. So what we have here is you'll notice across the board that everything about this gimmick is incredible. It looks the way that they portray it. The, the gimmick functions well, okay? It is good quality in the sense that it doesn't, it shouldn't break easily, right? If you threw it or it dropped from a really high height, it probably would break, but that's about it. And um, it's not terribly difficult to learn. That being said, the only downside is the learning part because that is the most difficult you're gonna have is learning it. Oh yes, and I should say reset time. Reset time is minuscule. Um, if you only do the first phase where you're doing the matching, and then you don't do the solve that he teaches. He teaches like a, an impossible solve where it solves in an instant. If you don't do the impossible solve, it only takes like 10 to 15 seconds to reset. And you can do it in front of the audience members without them even realizing that you're resetting it. And that's what I'll usually do if I'm just doing that. I'll walk around, I'll do a performance. I'll be talking to them. Uh, and after they were to say, do you have any questions? And while they're talking to me, I reset it in my hands and then put them in my pockets. Okay, very simple. Now I go to the next table, pull it out, do it again. Um, then ask them if they have any questions about me or what I do. And while they're doing that, I reset it, put it in my pockets. Boom, super quick, right? Now, if, if you're gonna do the solve, it's gonna add about 30 seconds of, sol uh, of extra time getting it ready, um, and, but that's not long. 30 extra seconds or just 30, it's actually not even 30 extra seconds, it's only like 15 extra seconds because you have to do a little bit extra to reset it. So it's overall, the reset time is 30 extra seconds if you're doing both the matching and the instant solve. So that basically sums up everything. It's a five-star product all around. It's one of the best products I've ever bought, and I use it at every single show that I do. Just telling you, that's honestly what I do. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please like and subscribe for more. And of course, join our email list or join our free course if you'd like to learn some cool magic tricks. Um, if you want to learn more professional stuff, want to learn how you can make ma money doing magic like I mentioned before, you can of course join the $29 a month subscription and get an access to one of the biggest libraries in the world on magic. Thanks for being here and I hope you have a good week.